Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 room building video. I guess this one's kind of two rooms in one. Uh, so we're working on the workshop in the mansion house that we've been doing here on the channel. If you want to check out the whole playlist, I'll link it on screen and down below so you can check out the other rooms we've done so far. Uh, so far we've done the kitchen, uh, the, uh, the garage, and obviously all the outside and all the build. Uh, so today... This one, I think this, despite this room, we're building basically a workshop. So it's going to have like woodworking. Uh, it's going to have, uh, there's a downstairs bathroom. It's basically like, you know, a metal shop kind of wood shop place downstairs. Then we also have this loft area. And th this is what's really exciting. This is what I'm really, really excited about. Um, and uh, it's actually what we're starting on. So we're building a makeshift bedroom because... In my Let's Play, if you haven't watched it, that's like, that's okay, I won't judge you, but we have a daughter in there that she's kind of a reject of the family. She's kind of like the black sheep of the family. Like, no one really likes her, even though, I mean, they all do. It's mostly me that doesn't like her. So, anyway, she's rejected. Uh, she's actually sleeping out in this detached building from the rest of the house. This is where, this is where she's gonna go. And it's also part of the workshop, so, you know, when people are banging away downstairs, making, I don't know, like a table or something, or just, like, doing whatever, she's, that's her room, that's, this is her space. But, to, like, with all of that said, this is probably one of my favorite spaces in this entire build. It's just, it's really fun, it's really, it's really quite different, and it's just, it, it was a lot of fun to build this. I had so much fun. Um, so, I was trying to figure out what to do. Uh, for this space and what, what we we're gonna go for so I didn't want it to be closed in room because like I said It's like a loft to the workshop and I guess it could have been used for I don't know by the previous owners for just like storage or something Or just whatever may have been up there, but in our case we're like, okay, we got this spare this spare space up here uh, We can we can shove a room up there. So we'll just get a few room dividers. We'll hang up a curtain You know, maybe lady had put up that curtain herself just so she could get a bit more privacy like we've tried to close it in but we have the door from the outside, and then we also have the stairs that you can come up here. So we want to create it. We wanted to give some privacy. So we did a couple of the screens. We got like a little cupboard there in the corner. We got the monster light. Uh, she is a. Ch By the way, she's a child. If you didn't know that, so um, yeah, make of that what you will. That we're sort of putting her out here. But hey, hey, you know what? It's all good. Uh, <laughs> she'll, she'll be fine. Do not worry about her. Um, oh yeah. So that um that plant that I put by the window. I'm super excited about that because. I thought it'd be really funny because I mean first of all she's scared of monsters so we have to have a light for that so I was like hey let's put a spindly twig plant by the window so you know when the sun comes through or at night time there's scary shadows all over the room so I thought that'd be fun and then of course I put a bunch of cracks all over the wall to make the building look older like it's kind of falling apart like I said I really wanted this place to feel like it was really sort of cobbled together and just sort of you know, they're just like, let's just put the stuff in here. Everything's kind of just shoved in the space. We just have a hanging light bulb. Got all this old furniture. We have that little sort of bookshelf on wheels there in the corner as well. And then uh, I've sort of put up a bunch of posters and like photos and that that uh, maybe that lady herself would have put up there. You know, she's hung it up. Trying to make it look a little bit nicer. She has a little shoe racker bag by the door there. But hey, we're not, we're not completely heartless. We are giving her a computer as well so she can actually do some work here. Like, it's a pretty cool space and I, I actually really, really like it. So... I think it's super cool. It's it's uh, it's definitely unique, and I think it's one of the more interesting little corners of this house. So downstairs as well. This is something that I don't think I've, I don't think I've really built in the Sims. There's like a a full size, almost like shed slash workshop area. So we're we're doing a bathroom down here, um, because obviously we want a bathroom for that bedroom, so that she doesn't have to go all the way to the house just to go to the toilet or something like that. So we're putting that down here, so it's like actually part of the sort of the downstairs workspace. Uh, which would make sense, I think, in a layout that it would be down here because it'd be near all the other stuff, and then the upstairs was just a loft. So we're getting oh, I love I love that sink. I don't get to use that sink nearly enough, but in this kind of environment, that like layout uh, and and all that that sink fits in like perfectly. We have got these big old wooden floorboards, which I love as well, but they're so they don't really fit many places. I love to put them in where I can. Wherever I can. So now the bathroom, it's not the worst in the world. Like it's not very nice. Like it doesn't, I think it, I designed it to look tacky and look, look old and look kind of gross, but all the items in there are still pretty nice. Like I think that shower is actually pretty good. And also I think that toilet is not too bad. I just put down a little plunger next to the toilet. Cause you know, maybe that toilet's a little dodgy. It's a little old. Uh, or maybe she just takes a big f in the toilet and you have to just unclog it. So, <laughs> you know, keep the plunger handy. 
Um, <laughs> they're ready to go. Also a little bin as well, because I think it's a, I, I don't know how this space is going to work when we get, when we go to uh, like the gameplay and that, whether or not, uh, I, I don't know if they, I guess if they bring like dinner or plates over here, it'd be useful to have a bin because I don't want them run, running back and forth between here and the house. And I, I think for the most part, it should be okay. Like I've done, I've played in the house a little bit already in the completed house and it seems to be running just fine. So I put down that, uh, there's a welding mask on the ground there that I put in because I was like, I really want to use that somewhere. I don't know where yet. I, I think I found that when we were doing, maybe we were doing the greenhouse or something, which there's a video coming on the greenhouse soon. So stay tuned. But yeah. So this workshop, I was, so this is something that I've not really done before. Um, but the idea with it and, the, re and the, the, the way I was going about it was I wanted it to feel uh, like it had, the, the space had as much use as possible. And I've been watching a lot of... Uh, if you guys know Adam Savage, who used to do Mythbusters and all that, um, I've been watching a lot of like the YouTube videos he does over on Tested, and it, like it, it, they sort of working in his shop, and it's he's he's all about like organization and having stuff everywhere, or having stuff organized everywhere, and like lots of solutions for storage and that. So I was sort of trying to incorporate that kind of idea in here by you know we've got all the tools up there on the wall and each of those little boxes. Then I have that sort of bookshelf just next to it that's sort of raised up. In the middle, I have the desk, which I'm going to actually use to put a computer on. So then we have like a little workspace there. Then we actually have these two woodworking tables back to back. And surprisingly, that actually worked out really well. So yeah, so you saw I put that table in between the counters because I thought that'd look really cool because it almost looks like it's just some like planks of wood sort of suspended in the middle and there's no like table legs. Um, and then uh, that actually works just fine. I put a computer on it and they're able to use it and they're also able to use the woodworking tables. No problem at all. And then I'm also using like these little cabinets that could be like some tool filing system or something like that. I don't know. Look, can you tell I don't really know much about tools? Um, I'm pretty, look, I'm pretty handy. Um, yeah, I could, uh, I could whip together a quick, t I would love, I would love to be able to do that. Like, I've because I've been watching these, uh, and especially when, because I travel a lot. So I watched a lot of these like sort of Adam Savage one day builds. Where it's like maybe some of them are like 40 minutes to an hour long of him just making something, whatever it may be. And I'm just like, man, I wish I could just like wake up one day and be like, you know what? I'm going to build this and just make a physical thing. I think that'd be super cool. The problem with that is you kind of need, you kind of need to not live in an apartment and actually have space to be able to do that. Because I can't just like bring in a saw and start making stuff in my living room. Like, I don't think that's appropriate, you know? Uh, so I put in the... Uh, the archaeology table as well. Like, I don't know if we're going to use that in this build, in this build or um, in this house or whatever. But I was like, that's just something else that we can do here. I was just trying to get like a lot of items that are going to be really sort of really interactive, more, um, I guess, more like I guess, dirtier sort of activities, if that makes sense. So obviously like woodworking. And then I did like the medicine crafting table, I think, for the for the for the pets, I think is what I did. I don't know. There's some science table that I put in. Not that one there, there's a different science table. And I think that's a pumpkin carving station just next to it. I was like, we should get that out because we're going to be using that again. That's always fun. Um, and then I think I did I did do the kids' arts and crafts tables in here. Which I guess is not that much of a messy thing. Like That could go in the house. But I think it kind of works in here because I think it would be a fun little situation to have the kids there drawing something. And then have like mom or dad over by the like the woodworking tables or something doing some other task. And they could be keeping an eye on the kids just there. And also, like, this is kind of like the kids' half of the room. So, obviously, we've got, like, the kids' science table there, the drawing and all that sort of all sort of joined together in the corner. And um, I, I really, really like this space. I think, it, I think it should be actually useful as well, which I'm pretty excited for. Because in the Let's Play, we're going to be doing a lot of woodworking with Luna. Uh, and we're going to... Well, who's currently died? I accidentally killed her. But I'm going to be bringing her back to life. Don't worry. She'll be coming back to life. <laughs> and I want to do like, a, yeah, I want to do, the plan was to do woodworking with her, open up a woodworking shop and all that. So I want to get that sort of running out here. And uh, so I think this should actually be quite a useful space. Like, like I said, in some of the previous videos, if you've seen them, I want like every, like every room of this house to be useful, not just for decoration. I want it to be, there, there to be a purpose for us to go there. Otherwise it's just wasted space and there's no point having a big house. And I think that's like one of the, one of the big issues I have with huge houses, especially in The Sims, even in real life, it's like, yeah, that's great. It's such a big house, but 
what do you what's the point <laughs> like there's no point unless there's something to do there you know what i mean like so that's why i'm trying to make it everything useful and that's why i think this space should be a lot of fun to play with and uh let's just have a quick look in game so this is the little workshop from the outside in case it wasn't quite clear it's sort of around the front of the house it's it's almost like it maybe used to be a garage or something like that maybe not a garage but like yeah i think it probably would have been some sort of it could even be like a little servant's house or something in the past I don't know. Leave your comments down below suggesting what it could have been. Anyway, so we've got the stairs coming up outside. Oh yeah, ignore that that's blank. I fixed that in the actual house. This is not the actual house. I mean, it is the actual house, but it's a copy of the house. Um, yeah, this is my, this is, I think, one of my favorite spaces, like I said earlier in the house. I really, really love this. It's so cool. Like, I mean, ignoring the fact that it's detached from the house in a, almost like a, a horrible environment. It looks really, really cool. And look, any sim would be happy with this amount of awesome care take it in design and and we got a fan and there's a fan up there um yeah so this is a little bedroom we got the bed there i think it looks it looks really cozy for what it is i think it's just super cool super cool i love i love the little makeshift wall anyways we come around this way and then we can sort of see the uh workshop take shape so we have like a little sink area down over here we got the uh pumpkin carving table a little kid science table the artwork tables there a bookcase just over here we got the side door well actually that goes out at the front of the house um I think this was, this is some medicine crafting table, maybe for pets. Oh yeah, it's got a paw on it. So I think it's a medicine crafting table for pets. Got the archaeology table just here. A couple of the woodworking tables in the middle. Got a computer over there, a welding mask sitting next to it because I thought it looked cool. Um, some tools up there. Uh, I don't know, this is some science thing that does stuff. <laughs> it's a science thing, it does stuff. Boop, 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 boop. And then got a, like, you know, the broom there to clean up. And then we got the little bathroom. Uh, just in this way. There's a plunger. We got a pipe in here. Like, it's a sufficiently like, kind of, like it's not a, it's not a it's not an indoor bathroom. You know what I mean? It's definitely a bathroom that's separate from the house. Uh, but it's there and it's totally usable. So this is the workshop, uh, and I, I really love this. So if you do want to download this, I think it is available as a room, or maybe it's not. I don't know. But you can just download the entire house and then get it from there as well. How cool is that space though? That's really cool. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.